Curry! Yes. Curious. Are you excited? Your first time? No, it's just midgen. Just I'm screaming! <laughs> I am actually screaming. <laughs> like, actually screaming. Carowinds is one of those parks across the country that has a strict no bag policy. Uh, they allow them during the day, but <laughs> once it becomes Scarewinds, you cannot bring one into the park. And tonight, the park is open from 7 until midnight. This is what everyone does when they come to Carowinds for the first time. They're like, look at this beauty. Yo! What? What? Are you kidding me? Yo! Welcome to Sarah Wins! Sarah Wins! Get it? Because like me, but Sarah. Oh hey, look, Ma, I'm in two states at once. <laughs> cool. So, something interesting about this event this and Not Scary Farm are the only separate ticketed events within the Cedar Fair chain. So, at 5 o'clock on like a normal operating Saturday, they close out Carowinds, empty the park out, and then let people in at 7 o'clock for Scarewinds. So it's like a separate ticket. But unlike Scary Farm, your Cedar Fair Platinum Pass does get you into this event. Where's all the scare actors? Was that it? There was like two. There was a bird cage. That's above my pay grade. Oh. <laughs> First ride of the day is gonna be not intimidating. Not, not intimidating. Afterburn. Yeah. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Oh, I've been here. What's up? Uh, we just got here. Let's I go was ride just marathoning something. this. Let's, let's ride it. Let's okay. Ride it. Dude, that was like not a long no, line no, at no. all. For being that busy, that was not a wait. No, it was like five minutes. That's yeah, barely. I can see why you rode this six times already. Oh, yeah, I just stayed right there in the back row. Back right, that's the best seat. Are you ready to clear to take off? Oh, I'm clear to take off. Eamon would not be happy. No, he would not. Clear for take off. Yes, that's the correct <laughs> phrase, but they say clear to take off. Listen. Oh, clear to that. take off. Yeah. It is clear for take off. That was good! That is a great invert. I Isn't that like so fun? I'm not like the most die-hard fan of being a member, but that's a really good one. Yeah. I put that up there with like Raptor. Sure. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I like my tiering, at least of the ones in America, is probably like Montu and Raptor right up there as like oh one my and God, two. I said Raptor, not Montu. I'm not even a Floridian. I'm sorry. Oh uh, no, my, but those two are like the best in America, in my yeah. opinion. Then this is probably number three. I know I haven't been here for long, but just initial thoughts of Scarewinds. I am surprised that this is a separate ticketed event because the level of theming that I've seen thus far hasn't really lent itself to like the need of a separate ticket. Like it's nowhere near the vibe that you get from Scary Farm. But again, I hope that I'm wrong and I'm interested in seeing how the rest of the park is as far as uh, decor goes and, and the houses too. I'm looking forward to trying those out. Welcome to Blue Ridge Junction, or as the sign now says, Kill Ridge Junction. Last time I rode Copyright Strike was Winterfest 2019, which was still the ride's opening year. So it'll be good to get back on it. I remember really enjoying this attraction. We've entered the line for Copyright Strike. Probably gonna be about 45 minutes. I've heard the operations haven't been too strong tonight, so we'll see. Here we go, Copperhead Strike. We're putting these two in the front row for the first time. You're not excited at all, are you? No. I'm ready to get struck. We have thoughts. We have thoughts, yes. It's I will say I have never, ever ridden anything quite like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever ridden anything with, like, real hang time. Yeah. That was, it's a very cool feeling. That was very new to me. You're um, just dangling, dangling there, yeah, hanging. Yeah, but it's like forceful it dangling. Cool. It's not that you're like just dangling there, you know? And the airtime was better than I thought. Yeah, there's I, several moments where it just tosses you and you kind of have to like get ragdolled a little bit. Yeah, and I, I did like the, the second launch that it wasn't like straight track. I don't really think I've done many launches that were, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That being yeah. said, it's not really an intense roller coaster. No. Uh, I don't think so. It like becomes mini I-305 at the end. No, it does not. I was literally saying at the end, I'm like... Dinner is served, even though it's 10 p.m. at night, at Blue Ridge Country Kitchen, and it was good. But now, it is time to head to 
Fury. Three, two, five. Brah. Hello. What is it? This is a camera. Is it valuable? Uh, yes, actually it is. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. When I buy some invisible seafood, I got some invisible catfish right here. It's invisible? It's invisible. He hasn't sold one yet. It's no wonder. We just went through another scare zone. I'll be honest, I've been very underwhelmed with this Halloween event so far. Uh, again, haven't done any of the mazes yet, but all the scare zones have been considerably weaker than most scare zones at theme parks that I've been through. It's good to be back in Fury's Plaza. They literally built extra queuing for Fury. It's spilling outside the entrance. Wow. But look at this though. Golden Ticket Award winner. Four years. That's awesome. Okay, first ever you ride. You cannot convince me VNM made that. Ejector airtime? Are you kidding me? On a VNM? It was flying. Oh, was I got stung so hard. <laughs> yeah. You took oh, the I back the row. I felt the sting. You oh, felt the sting, all right? I feel the sting. I, I said it reminds me of like if Internet and VNM had a baby. Yeah. This. Pretty much. Like the whips like reminded me of like Maverick or I305 or something. Literally, the whips. The whips. The whips. It's, it's, so it's, so it's, it's my number one. It's still my number one. It's really good. I haven't done it since Cop Red Strike opening weekend. And every time I ride this, it just reminds me why I like it as much as I do. And it's yeah. just like, you forget about it when you don't ride it for that long of a time. That happened to me too. So it's yeah. good to be back on it. It's great that all of the airtime hills deliver. The pacing is fantastic. It's an excellent night ride. It has this really awesome bank as you go into, uh, uh, like right before that drop of the tunnel. Spectacular. So this right here is one of the mazes at the park, right outside of Fury's entrance. Actually, uh, they're taking the Disney approach here. You have to have a face covering in order to enter the attraction. I don't know if we're going to be doing it though. Look at this line. Literally stretches out here and it wraps all the way down there. We can see it as we're getting off the attraction. I guess the house is actually down there. So, yeah, I, I'm actually starting to wonder how much of this event we'll actually get to do. All right, they left us so much. We're going again. Ah! <laughs> hey, hey, we're gonna try for the front. I, any row on this ride is amazing. And I've only been on only it once. Done once. I don't care. It's literally the it's best. It's true, though. He's it's right. Literally, it's 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 pure. Come on. You good? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. Not I'll never be the same again. again. Literally, never be the same. I have been stung it. Show-stopping yeah. experience, never before seen. <laughs> unreal, dude. Just unreal. unreal. You can't explain Insanity. it, man. Insanity. That's that's. I used to like I unreal five more than that by a lot. Now it's the complete opposite. Like that's the king. Of Those are some of the best rides I've ever gotten on this ride. This ride is running ridiculously fast. Like it does not even make sense. I've never seen it go anywhere near that. It is running ridiculously fast, can't confirm. Here's something I didn't realize, they have Thunder Road Nano Coasters. Even though the ride closed in 2015, uh, that's pretty awesome. Also, uh, Coaster Dynamics has come out with these Parkscapes. Uh, it's like the Coaster Dynamics roller coasters, but instead it's for the entire skyline, which I think is super cool. I own the King's Island one. It's great. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh yeah, please get her. That girl right there, go after her. Thank you for that. First of all, I know it's dark out, but seriously, that repaint is fantastic. It is vibrant. It is so vibrant. I can't wait to see it during the day. Second of all, that was your second favorite what? Second favorite first drop on a B&M Hyper. Like, that thing, yay. It was good. Yeah, compared to like, Raging Bull number one. Yes, Raging Bull I'm giving number one because, duh. Which I'm sure someone's gonna have something bad to say about it, but it's not about how long the train is. Like me and Matt were in the back row, and we're like, you guys, we're not even at the top yet. We're just like yanked down, like yeah. already, and that's like insane. And I don't know, you guys like kind of underhyped that thing a lot. A, a lot of people. A lot of people don't like it. Yeah, or a lot of people because it 
by nature lives in the shadow of fury. That, yes, but like, okay, if you were to put that at most other parts, it's really good. Yes. yes. No, yeah. actually, I I think that this is one of the, like, it, it's a really good BNM Hyper. Like, it's, it's probably different. mid to upper tier, in yeah. my opinion. Sir, 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 go say hi to him. Look, look, he wants to Hello. say hi. He wants no. to say hi. He wants to talk to you. Well, Fury closed the line early, so we are going to get to do a maze after all. Yeah. Which one is this called? I don't uh, even know. It's called Coaster Studios, I think, or something studios. No way. It's something studios, that's all I know. This is a very nice change of pace to earlier when there was a crazy long line out front that we showed you. Look at this, we're probably going to be walking straight into this house that is actually underneath Hurler. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, they have a building like this yeah, at King's say, Dominion. It's literally the same building that we have. Yeah, I guess it's now in the center of like Twisted Timbers. Hi, it's called Silver Scream Studios. It's themed to a movie. Well, that's Supposedly. cool. Because Coaster be. Studios is like a shoot. movie like a, sort of thing. They made a yeah. decent movie. It was all right. <laughs> what, you made a movie? <laughs> Documentary. This is how we roll now. Available at Vimeo.com slash on demand slash. This is how we roll movie. So... That was the one maze we got to do here at Scarewinds. It was nice. And it was really bad. And I am like the biggest wimp ever. Like, guys, am there I was... the biggest wimp ever or what? Yes, she is. Yes. She is. And there yeah. was they got you. They, they no got you. I scares. Like I didn't even know. None. None. Like, there, there were three actors, maybe four. Very, very few actors. Set design was not good. And, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, we I don't know, know if we're just spoiled with like Universal and stuff. But so that's possible. But oh, that was really underwhelming compared to like, like I mean, I've done like Cedar Fair haunts. I've done like the ones at like, California's Great America. We just did King's Island. All the King's yeah, Island ones were a King's lot better. Great. I'm just like, offended. Somebody the other day said that they thought that this was like on par with Not Scary Farm, and if not that's true, even close. Okay, then whoever said no. that. What, King's Island, even King's Dominion, like, that would be easily the worst house in, like, King's Dominion. Like, for, it was like, and, I don't know, if they're all on that kind of level, like, I don't know. I'm not know. upset that we didn't do anything. I'm not, happened. I'm not upset either that we missed them. Like, I just, and almost, like, I just feel bad, because, like, I've been, like, so excited to do, like, scare wins. Like, all the scare zones were pretty underwhelming, and, like, the maze, like, not Although the people chasing good. me down all yelling my name was, uh... Oh, yeah, that we didn't even catch that on camera. Uh, someone found out uh, Sarah's oh, name, and all these scare actors were uh, calling her name. That was pretty funny. And just like that, it is past midnight, and we are leaving Scarewinds. We'll be back here tomorrow morning, but not for the event later on, mainly just to do some day rides. Look at this dude. He did. And that does it for our evening at Carowinds. Uh, your first ever visit to Carowinds, my first ever visit uh, to Scarowinds. Yeah. Overall, how was your night? It was super fun. I am. Um, I feel like I'm all wonked out after riding Fury like three times. <laughs> hey. Um, yeah. And, you know, but I want to ride it more. Only focusing on the roller coasters and you know even even with the weights, it was a really fun evening. Yeah, I am excited to see the park like in the daytime. Yeah, because all of your first ever rides on this were all night. All rides. night, which. It's kind of really cool, actually. It's How many people can say their first ride on Fury was a night ride? Yeah, exactly. Wow. So, no, I, I had a great time. Um, Scarewinds as a whole was a disappointment. Uh, it could very well be that this is an off year. I've heard great things about this event, so maybe this was just like a weird year, uh, which is totally understandable. Um, but when I think back to all of the different haunts that I've done at the Cedar Fair Parks, honestly, this is probably at the bottom. Uh, do I think it is worth a separate ticket, kind of like how Not Scary Farm is like a separate ticket. Personally, I would say no. I think what is great is the night rides. Um, that alone, like the night yeah. rides on Fury. But like for the the mazes and the scare zones, frankly, I think this should be included uh, with with the normal pass, and that they don't need to like empty out the park and then reopen it for scare ones. But I understand why they do because clearly it makes money. It is packed tonight, so I I get bit. it. But um, yeah, that was just our experience at Carowin. So I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below what you think of this event, what you think of Fury, and all this stuff. And again, we will have another vlog from Carowinds uh, during the day. Uh, they'll be up on the channel very soon. So hope you enjoy this. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.